Hello everyone, my name is Jaron Bracken and I'm with NCSI. Today I'm going to show you how to bake an agent into your image for Windows. Please keep in mind this is not best practice, it is not technically supported by Avanti support. However, there are certain situations that call for this. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, what we have here is a Windows 10 installation. Um, I have booted it up into audit mode, that's why you see the uh, sysprep tool here. I have created a self-contained client installation package. I chose the one with status. And all I'm going to do is run this. Uh, I haven't done anything else to the, to the installation. Um, typically, if you're going to be doing this uh, imaging with EPM, you'll build this into the uh, template, this you know task list that we have for the computer to do. Um, if that's not possible, that's one of the reasons why you could use this. So, or if you have to ship your image off to somebody to image uh, computers as they come in, uh, this is not ideal, but this is much better than not having an agent installed at all. All right, so I'm simply going to run this as administrator and get this image, uh, or sorry, get this agent installing on my image here. I can cancel the sysprep. All right, there it is. It's off and running. I'm going to let that go, and uh, we'll come back to it shortly. I want to show you here in my inventory, I don't have a list for that computer. It is called uh, Lab Client 2. Um, however, this is a brand new install of Windows, so I haven't renamed it, so we're going to get a randomly generated name. We'll know that it's here when it shows up. I have 15 items in the list. When it jumps to 16, we'll know that that agent is installed. And we'll go ahead and time shift to that point. All right, that agent install is complete. You'll notice I have a portal manager here indicating we had success. We go back to my core server and refresh the view there is my machine that I'm going to image. All right, the very first thing I want to do is delete our agent installation file. Don't want to have that extra 200 or so megabytes hanging out in the image, so I'm going to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is reboot. I do not want to bake a needed, a needed reboot into the image. Uh, the agents usually want to reboot um, once you've installed them, so we're just going to go ahead and get it out of the way now. Okay. The reboot is completed. Go ahead and cancel out of this. The first thing we need to do is open up services. Once we have services open, we're going to go to services and applications. And the first one we're going to find is Avanti. So we're going to go down here to the eyes. And there is Avanti application monitor service. We definitely want that turned off. Next, we're going to move down to the L's. So, Landesk Remote Control. Targeted Multicast. Management Suite, or Management Agent. And then Software Monitor, uh, which we cannot turn off, and that should be, that should be just fine. All right, there we go. Services are all off. Now we can move to RegEdit. So I'm going to open up RegEdit. HQ Local Machine. Uh, software, and then because this is 64-bit Windows, we're going to go down here to WoW 64-32 node. The first place we're going to go to is Intel, Landesk, Common API, and then this unique ID right here. Now it might seem a little bit funny that we're going down to an Intel folder, um, but Intel actually owned this product, uh, formerly known as Landesk, um, and so we do have some uh, leftover things there from that uh, acquisition. All right, we're going to delete this. Don't want any uniqueness. We don't want anything identifying this computer. We want to save that all for after the image is done. Next, we're going to go down to Landesk and Common API. Same thing here, unique ID. Let's get rid of that. Great, that's gone. Next, we're going to go to Inventory, Logon History, and then Logons. This one's not quite as important because um, it's just keeping track of who the primary owner might be. But still, we'll just get, to get rid of them here. There we go. Uh, the last one here in the Landis folder is Management Suite, Win Client, Software Monitoring, and then we're looking for any software monitoring logs. And you can see we don't have any here because this is a brand new image. It doesn't have any software installed, nothing's running. 
All right, the final place we need to go is Microsoft Provisioning OMADM, and here we're looking for MDM device ID. Um, don't have one. This device has never been provisioned with uh, mobile device management or modern device management, so there's nothing here for me to delete. All right, next we are going to move to File Explorer. We're going to the root of the C drive, and we're going to go into the Program Data folder, and you'll see it's missing here. Uh, that's because it is a hidden folder, and you can either enable hidden items here under View, or you can just type it in. So I'm going to go to Program data and we're just going to delete this whole land desk folder right here and there we go okay as far as the computer goes that's it that's all we need to do to bake the agent into it um, again this is not best practice this is not supported so please only do this if necessary but if it is necessary make sure you follow the steps I just listed there what we'll want to do after this is sys prep it I'm not going to get into that that's that's imaging and provisioning um, but you'll sys prep it, and then the very next thing you need to do is capture that image. If Windows by chance does boot up again, you're going to need to go, need to go through and remove all of those items once more because it will generate them anytime Windows boots. So make sure you have a clean agent um, before you capture that image. All right, one of the downsides of baking an image into an agent is you're locking it in place uh, for that version of EPM. So if you installed uh, an agent a year ago, you'd be installing the agent from 2020.1. What if you have 2021.1 today? Your agent is not going to be updated. So one of the things we can help to do mit to mitigate that is to create a query that will uh, check for those old machines. So I'm going to make a new query here under public. And I can call it something like, you know, outdated agents or, or whatever. You know, make some, you know, make it up, whatever makes sense to you. Outdating agents. <laughs> outdated agents and uh, what we want to look for is under land desk management we're gonna go to inventory scanner version so this is the best place to go for version numbers because this includes any type of update or upgrade um, even just a service update that scanner version is gonna go up you'll see here I have quite the list for my lab uh, the latest is this one, 1104.521, that is 2021.1 uh, flat, no service update. Uh, so we're going to say look for anything that's less than 1104.521, and we'll insert that. Okay, hit save here. I have a scheduled task to deploy my Windows uh, lab Windows configuration. All I need to do is drag and drop this onto my task. And then I can set it to run. And when I do that, I can say run now and repeat every day. That way we're looking for these new agents, or sorry, these new computers that have old agents installed as they come online. And once a day, we're going to see them. We're going to send out this new agent and get them updated. You can go more granular here if you wanted to, you know, maybe make this every, you know, six hours, every four hours or something like that. Just try not to get too crazy with these. Uh, they can put a high load on your core server. All right, you would save that and then move this into a folder and make sure it's named appropriately so that you know not to delete it. Um, and that's it. That's how you bake an agent into your image into Windows and mitigate some of the downsides of doing it. Well, I hope this video was informational for you. If it was, please subscribe to our page. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.